What's the last thing you read on your phone? An article or perhaps even a book? More and more people are doing their reading in snippets on their phones, and publishers are taking notice. Here with the story is WSJ reporter Jennifer Maloney. Hi, Jennifer. Great to see you. Hi. So despite Kindles and iPads and all those tablets out there, people are reading on their phones more and more. Is that right? That's right. 54% of ebook buyers now read at least part of the time on their smartphones. And Apple keeps numbers on all of this and how many more books are being downloaded to phones these days than to iPads. Well, a big difference was made in September when Apple introduced the larger, clearer Apple iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And since that change, since the introduction of these phones, um, the number of people downloading books through the Apple iBooks app has jumped from 28% to 50, sorry, 45%. That's huge. So, but aren't books formatted for the tablet and not really for the phone? The ebooks, anyway? So, ebooks uh, are designed to be read on any number of devices. They automatically adapt. However, publishers are now looking specifically at how ebooks can be read more clearly on the smartphone. Google and Amazon both introduced custom ebook fonts that are designed to be to make reading on the phone easier. So, publish publishers are adjusting formatting, even marketing, all sorts of things to make more people download books to their phone. But I have a question. If you are reading books on your phone, you're generally reading them running from appointment to appointment or you know, in between things. Are you really retaining and reading in the same way? So there's a big debate in the literary community right now about whether or not phones can offer the same kind of deep, concentrated reading as other devices or paper. And um, there is research that shows that phones prime our brains to be ready for alerts and distractions because yes. they're ringing and they're buzzing and they're dinging. Um, and so even if you turn those alerts off, some scholars say, your, bra your brain is expecting those distractions and so it's more difficult to get into that deep concentration. However, a lot of readers say that they can read just fine. They report reading Moby Dick and War and Peace all on their phone. I can't believe it. I guess reading even on your phone is better than not reading at all. So is all of this good news for the publishing industry? You know what? It's funny because years ago when the e-readers were first introduced, um, people thought that the e-reader was the future of books. Now people say it's the phone and it's print. Print isn't going away. Right. But overall, the fact that you always have your phone with you may allow some people to read more than they otherwise would. It makes a lot of sense. You know, when I did use a Kindle for a while, I always had to remember to carry the Kindle with me. But you always have your phone. You always have your phone. <laughs> Jennifer Maloney, thank you so much for that.